hello everyone and welcome to neat mentor in this video we are going to discuss about how to choose a branch uh, all the clinical branches and its pros and cons based on pros and cons positivity and negativity about particular branch uh, you will get an idea like which branch you should go and it depends on like your passion about that branch if you have already decided then it's all good but if you haven't decided and you want a list of branches that uh, you need to have in your list based on your rank and all the criteria. Then it will be very nice input for all of you. So, uh, if you are new to the channel, you can subscribe the channel, okay? And uh, there are ebooks available. You can find in the description of the video, or you can find in the on the website www.neatmentor.co.in, and you can avail our paid counseling packages are there. You can you can subscribe to one portal uh, where you can find uh, last year cutoff, closing rank, fee, stipend, bond, uh, college predictor, uh, college level clinical details department wise, okay, and uh, for deemed universities and all the state details, cutoff everything. So let's get started, and you can also join our Telegram group uh, where you can get uh, all the updates as soon as uh, something comes up. So for radio, dermatology, general medicine, pediatrics, orthopedics, obstetrics, respiratory medicine, general surgery, psychiatry medicine, ENT, ophthalmology, anesthesia, radiotherapy, and family medicine. Uh, mostly all the clinical branches that comes under your umbrella, I have, uh, uh, I'm going to cover here. So first, uh, radio diagnosis. Radio diagnosis is the most lucrative branch in nowadays. Okay, and that's why the closing rank is very high, and uh, pros. Is definitely you, you can earn like good money the money is not a problem in case of radio diagnosis and the work stress is less no patient interaction and you can have very comfortable life so work-life balance is also very good and it's a end branch so you don't need to think about super specialization and less pa patient contact and very good reputation okay uh, cons like less recognition because you work behind the scene okay your name doesn't come into the uh, market or like news that you have treated this person uh, famous personality and all because you diagnose the cases and based on that the uh, super specialist doctors okay uh, do the next thing okay uh, the setup is expensive so initially you need to uh, work in a hospital okay but you will get good salary one more uh, cons that in near, which is not uh, likely to happen near future, but uh, since uh, it's a diagnostic kind of job, so it might get replaced up to some extent by artificial intelligence, as we have seen saying that uh, see, seeing the progress of artificial in intelligence, but in near future it doesn't look so. And uh, in the colleges, you need a good infrastructure like uh, machines and modern machines like MRI and those all uh, X for X-rays and you need to have uh, uh, a check that whether you are going the institute that you are going to join whether it is having all those modern messengers no patient interaction no OPD okay now coming to general medicine general medicine I would say in more demand than radio diagnosis because it's evergreen branch and you talk about any doctor okay and first you means those those doctors who are like have, having done uh, general medicine md they go for super super specialization they are the most popular doctors in the world and this evergreen branch very good reputation good amount of money uh, i would say not less than radio diagnosis you can earn more it depends on like your skills and and your practice great job opportunity okay and it's very rewarding and good reputation you can have name and fame in market also and brand cons because you, once you do md in general medicine that it becomes like mandatory that you go for super specialization else you won't have like so much value workload there will be so much of workload because any case that it, it comes first it will be diagnosed by uh, general medicine doctors then it will be sent to other specialization more work stress then there is workload more stress and job is challenging you need to put a uh, lot of uh, work hour okay pediatrics pediatrics is also kind of uh, relatively end branch 
okay after pediatrics you can go for super specialization but even you don't go uh, it's okay you can live with uh, md pediatrician md pediatrics and no setup required just uh, like office kind of setup you need to have okay uh, in case you don't uh, go for icu and all and it's also evergreen branch where when, when i say evergreen branch is demand is not going to get over in uh, in the in any time okay it will be there and good job opportunities as well but uh, and money as well okay more than decent money you can earn in as a pediatrician so it's a very good option and uh, the negative point is workload will be more okay and uh, you need to put like more effort to earn money but money is definitely there and less recognition because you are dealing with a child and uh, their parents so you don't get to treat uh, a very famous personality and you don't get very good name and fame and the competition is also increasing because you see so many clinics okay and uh, setup is very easy that's why the competition is increasing but still it's in very much demand and i would say this is the uh, fourth option after radio dermatology uh, sorry radio medicine and uh, this is the third option for some of the candidates dermatology is the uh, second or third option coming to let uh, let me talk about dermatology first in dermatology uh, you can earn good amount of money and it's very comfortable um, work life balance is end branch and there is no emergency less stress good reputation everything is good here okay in case you want like a very much uh, kind of like a thrilling job then that's not uh, your choice okay the cons uh, i don't think any cons in that okay uh, list number of seats are there okay you see dnb there are like uh, around 10 10 seats only so that's that's only negativity okay that getting uh, joining the college okay getting admission uh, for md dermatology is difficult okay because less number of seats now talking about general surgery so general surgery demand we have seen in recent time has reduced because so much of competition and it's also branch where super specialization mch is must and you can earn good money after completing mch right you have good good reputation and it's also a very green branch like general medicine because those who treat or like do surgery Uh, and they have good name and fame there are like very popular doctors and they work in the front side okay good job opportunity as well after mch and good money as well the negative part is you need must to super specialization else uh, there is very much competition and uh, uh, job finding job will be difficult and if you have like if you want to do your own setup okay then it's difficult because it's expensive so you need to work in hospitals and if you are like first doctor in your family then i would suggest uh, like uh, not to go for general surgery but if you are passionate about it then there is no problem see since you uh, treat those uh, more uh, cases where the chance of death uh, is high so it's more responsible job and risk filled cases so uh, that's a negativity and uh, now next one ops and gynae so this is one of the branch okay which is very popular among the female candidates okay and uh, best part is uh, you will you can have a lot of money okay and good recognition in market because uh, directly patient come to you and you can have your own uh, setup a own hospital and it's kind of mix of medicine plus surgery you need you you have to do uh, surgery also okay and uh, medicines are also there uh, you can do prescription negative part high workload is one of those branches where the workload is high and very sp- stressful job okay so many emergencies you can have emergencies as at night any time and uh, more sensitive cases because you are dealing with two uh, lives mother and children uh, mother and child so that's very sensitive and uh, i have actually personally talked to many doctors and they say that okay they are uh, tried uh, before before counseling 
like which one to select and they they had passion about option gani but after joining the job okay they figured out that okay it's not for them is uh, because they can't live it for uh, whole life with this much of stress and workload so you need to decide wisely okay now next one is orthopedics orthopedics uh, is just a good branch and relatively end branch okay there is good amount of money and uh, emergency will be also less and you can have good reputation so because general medicine uh, general surgery and in uh, op scanning and orthopedics you can have your own setup and uh, you can have like end to end patient interaction so you earn good reputation and rewards uh, the negative part is uh, more situation has come uh, uh, currently for orthopedics more orthopedicians are, are there and that's why there is more competition and in, it requires like physical demanding because you need to do uh, like uh, into have physical strength also and uh, and that's why uh, it's not a good option for female candidate and that's why you know that for female candidate will not go for orthopedics uh, branch okay but it's a good option and a very uh, satisfying branch also okay and patient satisfaction see uh, patient satisfaction is also a factor uh, because if it's taking long time to uh, cure the disease okay so you need to face that uh, issue okay again and again from uh, patient side ent ent is also uh, re relatively end branch there are some uh, super specialization added you can do it uh, like uh, neurosurgery and all and there is a less emergency okay you can have like comfortable uh, job comfortable schedule and work life balance is good less stress and you can have uh, decent money not like much okay uh, reputation is also good uh, reputation is also uh, not good because uh, you are like dealing with not like very severe cases uh, and you don't get so much a name and fame or reward money is also like uh, not very good uh, but uh, it's decent i would say and but if you want to earn so much then that's not an option for you because you will be having limitation coming to ophthalmology ophthalmology also in branch and uh, you can have good money uh, but for good money you need to have your own setup okay and the demerit is, is the setup is expensive okay less emergencies less stress okay uh, but it's good option and uh, it's also in demand nowadays uh, the negative part is there is saturation that like orthopedics that more uh, orthopedic uh, means uh, uh, ophthalmologists uh, are in market okay and uh, the number of seat it's less but still depending on the demand uh, the situation is there and setup is expensive so you need to work in hospital and uh, see due to some schemes by government and all for all uh, surgeries and uh, all the things they there are like less cases that it will reach to you so that's also a problem and uh, in corporate sector uh, the corporate hospitals are having command on these kind of uh, branches okay and the recognition will also be uh, not that much okay so corporate ruling and saturation expenses setup these are the cons anesthesia anesthesia is also having good scope okay in case uh, you don't want to like directly uh, interact with patient and need to have like decent money okay from the first day you can start like earning good amount of money okay in other branches it takes like a, uh, the graph is there the curve is there but here you, from the first day you can uh, start earning good amount of money and fixed work are there you need to work in icus so you will have in fixed timing and uh, no setup is required okay and uh, the negative part is uh, you need to deal with emergencies okay uh, critical care if you like it then it's good otherwise in critical care uh, if you don't like that's the negative part uh, you do you don't get recognition okay you don't get your name that okay you have done this good work and for this patient and all so you don't get recognition and reward and the growth is also limited 
the, it will start you will start from like a top okay competing with the other branches but uh, the growth won't be that much i need you to depend it on other doctors okay because uh, you can't uh, do it alone so if you have but if you have good link then you can have like a good amount of money tb and chest respiratory medicine respiratory medicine is one uh, it's a emerging branch okay it, it has its demand okay and it's also end branch uh, during covid period the demand has uh, demand had increased uh, and uh, this is still there there is job satisfaction okay and uh, work life balance will also be there negative part is you can't have like that much money okay but it's a decent amount and no personal setup can do you can need to work in hospitals and uh, recognition is also less in in very special cases you need to get you get a chance and uh, in some cases uh, general uh, medicine doctors okay they also uh, do the procedure and treatment which is uh, belonging to respiratory medicine now we're coming to psychiatry medicine so psychiatry medicine is a also emerging branch and it is demand particularly in the metro cities and big cities okay uh, will will be good and uh, earlier it was kind of like uh, it, it was seen from a different uh, perspective or interpretation was different but now uh, everybody knows that uh, this world of full stress and uh, depression anxiety okay and uh, there are many more things okay so in the good cities and metro cities there is a demand for uh, psychiatrist and uh, it's also end branch and you can have decent amount of money the best part is the life is easy okay if you want easy life then uh, dermatology radio diagnosis psychiatry these are the options because you don't have emergencies and you can uh, have a very comfortable life routine life and you can get your time for yourself negative part that you need to have uh, more patience because uh, it's kind of a counseling okay uh, then medicine and uh, you need to understand the problem if you're not a good listener then it will be problem and uh, when it comes to emergency it sometimes it become difficult to handle it okay and uh, sometimes it's boring also because it takes like a lot of time to uh, get some result radiotherapy radiotherapy uh, is a new branch okay and is coming field uh, for treatment of cancer like diseases is required and uh, in the research also you have the scope and uh, you can do super specialization like dm medical oncology and uh, since if you treat a cancer patient okay it's very much satisfying uh, and uh, you get to because cancer is one of the diseases which is like on the top level which is difficult to cure after a level you can't um, treat it okay so it's very satisfying that you have treated someone uh, who was fighting with the death okay you come to know like very uh, big uh, personalities okay they were fighting and uh, if you get uh, option to chance to treat them then it's very rewarding uh sometime is uh, depressing because a lot of mortality okay because at the last phase is difficult to save the life okay but you are part of it capping of income the income won't be very uh, high it will be like uh, uh, decent only and uh, not many centers hospitals have full fledged uh, uh, setup or equipment and uh, recognition you can you can have like self satisfaction but your name won't come in front okay so there is no recognition but uh, the number of seats is also less okay so you can't have your own opd or such things in case you are planning to have your own setup then this is not the branch to go for family medicine family medicine is kind of uh, uh is kind of a replacement of all the medicine branches like general medicine pediatrics and uh, respiratory medicine okay because uh, it's basically designed by the government 
to keep doctors in such rural areas like villages and uh, um, some centers they create okay where they need some doctor so instead of having a mbbs they keep like some uh, family medicine doctors and a mix of all medicine branches and good for rural areas areas better than being mbbs and you can have decent money you can have your own opd that's best part uh, but there is no super specialization okay in family medicine and uh, job uh, opportunity will also be less okay so initially you might may need to be may need to struggle but uh, if you have like good practice you can have your own opd and uh, in the rural areas you can we you can have set up and it would be good but in the metro cities they are like looking for uh, not looking for gen- family medicine doctors so it will be difficult to settle in metro cities emergency medicine in emergency medicine is kind of like uh, uh, always uh, dealing with emergencies and uh, icus so if you like a challenging or like thrilling job then it's good one and the work hour is also fixed like anesthesia and uh, it's kind of backup branch uh, you can keep uh, if you're not able to get uh, general medicine pediatrics or respiratory medicine okay you can have decent amount of money but uh, in this branch also there is saturation and uh, job opportunity is also less and there are emergencies and you can't have you can't have your own opds okay uh, so let me summarize okay so what will be the sequence of branches so uh, there is no definition it depends on like your uh, passion okay so first uh, radio diagnosis general medicine dermatology then i would keep pediatrics and then obg by orthopedics then you can put uh, respiratory medicine and then general surgery after general surgery like uh, ophthalmology emergency medicine ent anesthesia radiotherapy or family medicine then radiotherapy so to me it looks like in the market or to the candidates i'm talking to and this is the uh, list of uh, like top to bottom order preference okay hope this video was useful to you and uh, <coughs> if it's uh, useful then share it and uh, <coughs> subscribe to the channel if you are new thanks for watching